Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we're checking out this thing which is called the IDCG FRB 12 Marlin. So uh, you guys can see the IDCG right there. And um, yeah, it's called Marlin. It's got a gun on it as well. Look at that. There's a little gun on the front, which is kind of cool. Anyway, we're gonna look into this thing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it out and do a mission with it. So uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's start from the outside. What have we got? We got three outboard motors on the back, as you guys can see. We got some winches on the sides that you guys can also see right here. Uh, it's my goals. So there you go. We can sort of like dock ourselves to stuff if we wanted to. Uh, if we go around the outside, we've obviously got a machine gun at the front, which is kind of odd, but you know, it works. It works. There we go. Oh, that actually works as a sight. Look at that. Look at that. The keyhole. It, it works as like a gun sight. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. We'll leave that right there for now. Uh, if we turn around, we've obviously got the bridge, we got some flashing lights on the top, uh, we got some spotlights, we got a camera, and we got a radar that's spinning around all over the place. Uh, so, let's go ahead and go inside real quick, and I'll show you guys uh, the inside, and then I guess we'll do a mission with it. So, here we are, we're on the inside, we got some scuba gear, we got some first aid lockers, we got some fire extinguishers, and then if we sit down in our seat, we got a compass right here, we got our speedo right there, we got a clock, we got another compass, We've got a radar, which also turns into a monitor for cameras, and yeah, back into a radar, which is pretty cool. Throttle setting is one, clutch engagement is one, there we go. So basically, to actually drive this thing, you just engage the clutch, um, and that works. There you go, your, everything else is awesome, and it just works. It just works, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I didn't mention already, this was built by Donk and Toddy, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, I like it. Anyway, let's do a mission with it, because um, that's what I want to do. Okay, so this is a mission I haven't actually seen before, or I, I, I don't remember at least. So we have to rescue the maintenance worker. I, I don't know where the maintenance worker is. I guess they're in the lighthouse. Is there only one? I think there's two. Rescue the maintenance workers. Okay, so that one says maintenance worker, but there's two of them, so that's okay. Um, right, okay, we could probably see the island where we're going to. Uh, although right now I, I don't actually know which way we're going. I can't work it out on here. I think we're going south, so we can't actually see it right now. If we do this, that's where we're going, right? Down there. I did see it a second ago, but now I don't. You can sort of see it. There. It's flashing in and out, because it's just some small islands. Um, but there it is. There it is right in front of us. So we're going to a lighthouse, and uh, we're going to pick up the dudes. I think that's all we need to do. Hopefully, we don't need to fight any fires, because this thing isn't firefighting capable. But um, other than that, it should be good. It should be okay. Yes. All right, here we go. We're almost there. Uh, I think we should turn on some waves and stuff like that to see how it acts against the waves. I don't think it's very good, or I don't think it's going to be very good. It, it, I don't know. It seems quite stable now. However, it does seem kind of tall for how wide it is. If that makes, if that makes any sense, I think it does. It definitely makes sense. Um, it feels like it's too tall to actually do anything, and I don't think it'll roll back over if it does end up upside down. So. You know, I don't really want to try it, but at the same time, I do. Um, we'll just have to see what goes on here. We get inside here, we need to rescue the dudes. I don't know what the problem is, uh, but there must be a problem for them to ask us to rescue them, right? Surely. Okay, let's leave it, like, see if we can go down through that gap right there. Go through the gap. Go, go, go. Through the gap. Also, one problem that I can see with uh, actually, like, turning with the engines is that... You, you, you kind of have to be applying power to turn. Uh, which also means that sometimes you'll be applying power to go forwards when you really don't want to go forwards. You just want to go sideways. Um, but anyway, we'll climb up to the top of this. We'll save the dudes. And then we'll get back on our boat and we'll get out of here. Wait, is this money? Free money. 6,500 for free. All right, we just got to climb all the way up to the top of this and um, save the dudes. Let's do it. There, hello! Is there any dudes up here? Yes, there are dudes. All right, follow me. Let's go. I don't know why you need rescuing. There is, there is literally no reason why you would need res rescuing right now. Come on, keep coming there. Oh. Okay. Jump. Go on. Jump over. No, I, I actually have to go all the way back up there to save that dude, don't I? Oh, this takes forever. You can actually walk straight over these railings, by the way, as well. Which I found out because I fell through them. But, you know, that's okay. That's, it's fine. It happened in the past. 
Uh, you gotta forget about the past sometimes, and um, that's what I'm doing. All right, here's our boat. Jump. Are you gonna make it? He made it. Wait, did he fall off? No, he's good. Yes. All right, get inside. Sit in our little bed right there. All right, we don't have that many seats to actually rescue people with, but um, we could just shove them inside and let them stand around in here. That's okay. All right, how far do we need to go? 6.4 kilometers. Okay. Right, well, let's race against the tsunami, waves, let's put a little bit of rain on, full wind, fog, maybe not full fog, just a little bit of fog, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, this thing against waves, I don't think it's going to do very well. If we go side onto the waves, I think we'll just get pushed over and then we'll die. I don't really want to die, not just yet. Um, I also don't really want to get attacked by a Meg, but at the same time, I really do. Because, you know, Megs are cool and all that stuff. Um, but I haven't seen it yet, so that's good. Right, we are only 6.4, oh, 6 kilometers away from our destination. Way. See, this is the problem as well, okay? Whoa, no! Okay, right, we need to go backwards. With our turning being on our engines, okay, we end up sort of flipping ourselves over. If we get caught by a wave, you have to you have to steer the opposite direction so it, it plows your boat back into the water. It, yeah, yeah. You guys know what I mean, right? Surely. Surely you know what I mean. I don't want to draw any diagrams or anything because I'm, I'm on holiday. We don't need to do draw any... I'll draw a diagram. Yeah, we can totally draw a diagram. Let's do that now. Okay, so here we have it. This is going to be the waves right here. Okay, we got to go line. There we go. There's the waves. All right, here's our boat. It's going to be like a boat like this. There we go. Here's another boat. There we go. So when our propellers turn us left, they start firing us upwards. There we go. Uh, if the boat is leaning to the left, that is. If the boat is leaning to the right, and we still do this, then it's now plowing us further right and into the floor. Okay, wasn't a very good diagram, but I tried my best. Well, well, I didn't, but you know, there you go. Okay, after that amazing drawing right there, you guys have learnt a lot, right? I know you have. Um, you guys, oh, I forgot about the tsunami. <laughs> I forgot about the tsunami altogether. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to see the tsunami. Whoa, it's doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it. Okay, so you have to turn the opposite direction. Okay, and then, and then it starts working properly. But we are gonna tip over. We're doing it, we tipped over. Oh, unless I can pull myself back out. Yes! I was gonna do the opposite now. Okay, we saved ourselves, but it, it really, really, really doesn't like waves. Like, not at all. Not at all. However, we've got a massive wave behind us, so we just gotta keep going, unfortunately. How far away are we? 5.3 kilometers. That is too far. That is, we got our emergency lights on and everything. See, we're getting pushed off to the right again. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, it is actually kind of difficult to keep upright when it wants to turn and it wants to flip over by itself. It's a little bit dangerous, that is, but um, but there you go. There you go. Okay, anyway, we're sailing away. We're sailing past. I actually really like it like this. Without any of the sea foam on it, it, it actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, we're going. We're going to keep driving. Keep dri we might be able to surf this. Who knows? Who knows? We might be able to surf it. Uh-oh. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Oh, we're upside down. Oh, no, no, no. Resurrected. We did it. We did it. Surf it. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh, we're being eaten. We are actually being eaten right now. Get us facing the right direction. And then we should be good once it lands. Oh, look at that. Is that a treasure chest? That's a treasure chest. We need to get over there. We need to grab the treasure. Apparently, they sink. Oh, no. Okay, we flipped over. There's no way of flipping this thing back over. There's no way. Ah. Oh, oh. Unless it, unless, it, unless we get carried by a wave, we might be able to do it. Okay, okay. Go backwards. That's okay. Here's a wave. Nah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. We've been flipped over and we're, we're dead now. We're dead. Okay, uh, I'm putting the scuba gear on. You guys will just have to fend for yourselves. Uh, open the door. Follow me. Okay, you. I'll grab you. All right, come on, everybody. All right, I saved one of them. The other one, I think you're in more danger now than you were when you were inside the, the, the lighthouse. Yep. All right, okay. Get out of here. 
There we go. I saved the dudes. Also, my boat has sank now. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that, that didn't go well. That didn't go well at all, but we did give it a go. And that's all that matters, you know? It's the participation that counts. Okay, well, uh, follow me. Come on, everybody. Even if I just save one of you, it will be okay. All right, grab you. Let's go. We're going to the wind turbine. We have to wait at the wind turbine. Yes. See, the problem with doing this, I don't know whether the dude on my back is just going to drown because his head is, like, in the water all the time. So so if he dies, it's 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 unfortunate, really, but I'm, I'm really trying to save him. So, so, so yeah, that, that's my excuse right there. Also, the other dude wants to stay under the water all the time. Not entirely sure why that's happening, but uh, there you go. Also, I'm not going to take... The oh, actually, no, we can totally rescue these dudes with a helicopter. Yes! All right, I'm going to drop these dudes up here. Then we're going to get a helicopter, and we're going to complete the rest of the mission. That seems like a good idea. He's going to stop following me. Ah! Follow me! Follow me! All right, you're both following. Keep coming. Keep coming. We're almost there. We are... No, they're going to stop following me all the time, aren't they? Come on, keep coming, keep, we're, we're literally almost there. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. I'm just gonna grab one of you. I'm just gonna, just gonna grab this guy and we're gonna keep going, okay? Keep going, get up the ladder. At least the first ladder, you know? If we don't get up the second one, that's okay. But just the first one. And, oh, okay, we might need to get up the second ladder because that wave just went over the first one. Okay, right, get on, get on that ladder right there. Okay, we're up. <laughs> we're up. All right, drop this dude off at the top one. Here we go. We're going to drop him off right here. That's good. Stay there. I'll go save your friend. Don't worry. I'll save him. I've got some scuba gear on. Is he dead? No, nope. he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. I've got him. I've got him. Keep it going. Go, 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 go. Big wave, big wave. Chuck me over. Chuck me over. No. We were so close. We were so close. There we go. We did it. We did it. Get him on the second one. And then we'll bring a helicopter over, and we'll rescue both of you. Yes. All right, drop you right here. Good. I'm going to go get a helicopter now. I really need to take off this scuba suit. Like, I, I just have a scuba suit on. That's not the best. That's not the best. All right, uh, let's go ahead and use something that we used before. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this one's really cool and all, but it doesn't have that many seats. So let's not use that one. Uh, let's just go for let's just go for one we used yesterday or the day before or whenever we use this one uh, And it should be fine. Also, what I need to do is I need to get one of those things so that I can take off the scuba suit There we go and empty one of these it can go wherever we want it to because uh, Because reasons okay go ahead and just shove it shove it somewhere in fact shove it on the outside We'll put it we'll put it there. Yeah, beautiful spot it in there. We go beautiful and put our little suit on the side. All right, and then and then if we take it off and we delete it and then we spawn it again, whammo! We don't have a suit on. There's no suit on the side, and we're good to go. Yes. All right. Now all we need to do is we need to figure out how to start this thing up again. So we do this, this, and this, and then we do this, and we do this, and this, and then we don't do anything else. We wait, and then we start the next one, and then we'll go. All right. Cool. Position lights. Yes. Anti collision lights. Yes. Release the brakes. Yes. Cockpit lights. Beautiful. Uh, press this. Do this one. And then it should start them up. Alright. Awesome sauce. Can we go ahead and turn on everything else? Avionics power. Beautiful. I say yes. Yeah, we're good. Alright, cool. I think we're ready to go. Are we ready to go? Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Okay. We're out. Let's go. Nice. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. We've actually got it moving straight away this time. Great. I can already see where they are as well. They're on that wind turbine over there. We need to land on it though, don't we? We're in a pretty big helicopter for this. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be completely fine. Okay, so before we actually land, we need to make sure the brakes are on. Okay, beautiful. And then we need to make sure we can actually fit on the landing pad. We should have probably figured that one out first, but you know what? We're gonna do it now. It is a bit windy as well, so you know, we got a few problems with this one, uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm certain it'll be fine. I'm, I'm positive that it'll be fine. It will be a o. Do we even fit under the under the turbines? I don't know. I, we should really come on from another angle, but no, we're good. All right, here we go. We're coming in sideways, pretty much. We're coming in sideways. There we go. Go down. Go down. 
go backwards a tiny bit, go sideways. All right, Landa, Landa, go down, go down, go down. There we go. Pretty good landing, I would say. I'd say that's all right. All right, cool. Now, now that that's all done, um, if we keep it locked here, it should be good to go. All right, let's just get outside and, and go save the dudes. I fell off a little bit further than I should have, but that's okay. Right, grab this. Grab you. Let's go. Up the ladder. So, in case you guys haven't noticed, if you keep moving forwards when they're on ladders, they sort of work a little bit better. However, we don't have enough room. Oh. Oh, that, oh Jesus. Help. Ah, I fell all the way at the bottom. No way. I fell all the way. All the way down. Um, but yeah, once you get to the top one, you guys will see that they do actually go all the way up the ladder. Uh, so we'll just grab this dude, we'll get the other dude following us, and then we should be good to go. Alright, follow me, you. Let's go! Up the ladder, and then you go forwards, and he should just come all the way to the top. Nope. Okay, well it worked earlier. <laughs> it's not working now, but it worked earlier. Alright, get in a seat. There we go. I'll go grab your friend. Oh, there he is! He's at the top. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna put his friend in. Here we go. There we go. Close the door somehow. Close the door. And I'll get in my pilot seat and we'll get going. Awesome! I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm really pleased with this. Go ahead and close the door. Uh, turn off the altitude hold thingamabobby. And let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. We're going. I'm surprised. I'm surprised we didn't get hit by one of those there. I was really kind of hoping for it to be fair. But no. We're alive. And that's, that's the best. The most important thing is that we're alive. All right, let's get to the village, and um, that'll be mission complete. We used two vehicles. One of them um, sank. Okay, one of them sank. It went upside down and then died. Uh, and this one seems to be completely fine so far. It is so red in here. It is so, so red. That's unbelievable. So I've, I've turned fog on a little bit, and uh, we've also got a lot of rain. And we are already at full wind, so um, we're at full everything. We might get hit by lightning and fall out of the sky and die. But that's just something uh, I'm willing to risk because we need to save the dudes and this is the only way they're going to be saved. That is a big rock in the ocean. Okay, let's dodge that and keep flying forwards. It's not so red when you're on the outside, but when you're on the inside, it's very red. Extremely red, indeed. All right, keep going. Come on, we got this. We got this. Can I change this? I want to look at a camera. I want to look at a camera. Whoa! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh. Oh, that was close. That was close. I'm glad I noticed. I'm very glad I noticed. Okay, we're almost there anyway. We don't need a camera. We do need a camera. I want a camera. There's a camera. Hold on. There we go. There's a camera. All right, so we're dropping them off down here. I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything at all. Oh, Jesus. All right, go down, go down. It's okay. We just got to save two dudes. And that's it. That's all of our job. So that's the only mission we got. All right, drop them. There we go, we did it. We did it, we don't even have to land, but I am gonna land. All right, there we go. Mission successful. Beautiful, do that, and then let's get out. Yeah. All right, cool, I'm going home. See you guys later. Oh, it's very lightning-y. All right, there we go, look at this. We can just put the fire on, we can sit inside, and we can go to sleep. Awesome. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to use either of the creations, I'll link them down below. So you guys can use them for yourself. Bye! Bye-bye!